This is James Holder of the Castle Holders Show here in the Peacock Gym. With me, I've got the very talented prospect, Romeo Casanova, Valentino Romeo. You said Wait. that really good. Yeah, well, was that right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Listen, this yeah. took me nine interviews to get that right. <laughs> well, so, Romeo, before we start, mate, you're going to have to take these off. What are these bad boys you're you wearing? You know, I, I always like to look different while I'm, even when I'm training. So I thought I might go a little bit further and get some camel leggings, isn't it? I know, I've got to say, you've succeeded in looking extremely different, mate. They're a one-off It's not pair. normal camo either, it's just like that. When people <laughs> see you running down the street, do, they, do you get second looks wearing stuff like this? All the like time, this? yeah. So even it. when I'm going out for a run or something, and people always look at me, who's that? Yeah, I'll bet. Because <laughs> you obviously are quite distinctive. Yeah. The, have you got the hair, have you cut your hair or is it still as it should be? It looks cut from where I'm looking, but I, I'm going to say, such a trademark and so well known from the hairpiece, I reckon you've got it in like a, in a dinner lady bun. <laughs> it's actually in a bun as well. <laughs> the Natsu Cow Barnet. <laughs> Natsu Cow Barnet. I just haven't had my hair cut today. What's happening then? Obviously, you're now gearing up for the Wembley card on the undercard of Frank Bruniani yeah. versus Chudanov. How has your preparation been for this? Preparation has been amazing um, for this fight. Yeah, um, as always, my training has always been the same. It's always really hardcore. It's always gone. gone out places and doing different things that no one's ever done before. But um, like going back to my last fight, I've known, I knew I was fighting that day for five months, my last fight. And I only been sparring about two times in five months. Mm -hmm. But um, for this fight now, I've been sparring like two, three times a week. And it's been really good um, training. I mean, for someone that's eight and zero, you've got a considerable profile and I've always, always seen on Twitter like boxers calling you out and yeah. whatever the yeah. case may be. How, how do you deal with that sort of pressure? I, it's no pressure, it's just that what you got to understand is when things go quiet for them and they ain't got a lot of noise going on, all they got to do is mention my name and then bang, it erupts. Yeah. So all they want to do is to get something started for them, just mention my name. Mm. To me, you know, just you do that because at the end of the day, your followers are Follow me as well, mm. because um, I got the last people who trying to call me out and everything. Just get me recognition as well. Besides getting them recognition, just mention my name. Does it, does <clears> it make you want to bite? Does it make you want to instruct your team to look for those fights of the people calling you out? Or do you, does it make you less inclined to want to take those fights? At the end of the day, I'm not like them. It's just, they can keep on running their mouths and they want to try and look good in front of their friends and that, but mm. at the end of the day, so be it, you can do what you want. At the end of the day, I'm only 19. Do you, do you see me being immature and running my mouth about people? Not really, because mm. I'm, not, I'm not a kid. Mm. <laughs> I'm growing up here. I mean, you are only 19, you're eight and zero now. Yeah. You're moving at a nice pace. Do you feel you're now ready to step up at some, for some kind of title at lightweight? Because you, you've now moved into the lightweight division. Have you, are you assessing to look at some kind of title there? To be honest, I, um, I want to step up now. Um, I've always wanted to step up, you know, each fight I want to step up and step up, step up even more. Mm. Um, I've got my ultimate goal and that's to become what I've always wanted to become as world champion and to be known in history as well. But one step at a time is become world champion and then once I become world champion then to be known in history. But, um, I just want to quickly get there and get myself sorted but um, like I said, it's one step at a time. The lightweights in this division is such a good division it's in the UK. Division. It's so yeah. strong, and we've got some really big lightweights in terms of size mm -hmm. and profile. Yeah. How do you feel you're going to compete with them as they're at such a young <coughs> age of 19? I, I, like I keep on saying, just the sort of training I do is just the training you've never seen before, and people have never even thought about doing this sort of training. It's like going going through rivers, running up mountains, sand dunes, and digging and whatever else um, because people's never done that before I know I'm always going to be that one step ahead of them all mm -hmm. so as I'm always putting the hard work in I believe more hard work than anyone else in in this country and maybe the world I don't know um, I always believe I'm going to be one step ahead and I'm always going to be the better person we know, we know obviously you, you, you've got a lot of emphasis on the strength and conditioning mm -hmm. side of your routines and your workouts, but do you feel technically as a boxer you're improving? Oh, of course, yes. Um, as I've been working with Bill now, um, every single day, two or three times a day with Bill on the pads, um, and we're even doing like two to three hours straight off now. 
<coughs> constant pad work and mm -hmm. techniques of working different things out and once I've thrown a shot, how to move to throw another shot. Um, and to be honest, I believe I am a lot better fighter now than what, what I was before. Mm. Mm -hmm. Going forward from here, I mean, you're looking for an impressive, impressive win at Wembley. Yeah. Are you then going to call someone out? Are you then going to look for some big names? <coughs> How do you go about it from there? Well, it's not really down, it's not down to me to choose my opponents. If, if it was, then yes, I'd be calling out big names and everything, but um, it's all down to the Frank Warren team that to um, discuss what opponents they want from me. And they're the ones who are in control of leading me the way. Mm. Um, so I just let them get on with their job and I go get on with my job. My job is to fight and to train and their job is to, to arrange everything and get the fight sorted. So I just leave it all down to them and I just do what I got to do. Alright, well listen, we're looking for a big performance from you at Wembley. Oh, believe me, there'll, there'll be a big performance, yeah. Another chance to shine on a massive vaccination <laughs> card, so yeah. go out and seize the moment, Romeo. Yeah, thank I you will. for talking to the Castellan no Show problem. today. No thank you very much, Tim. Cheers, Christopher.